Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this is going to be a treat. Got the wax on the top of it. Nate sent me this. This is from Boulder Beer Company. This is their 35th Anniversary Imperial Black IPA. It's got a little elastic strap. It says Colorado's first craft brewery since 1979. So these boys have been brewing craft beer for a long, long time. It says, in 1979, two University of Colorado professors decided to turn their home brewing hobbies into a business together, establishing Boulder Beer Company in Colorado's first craft brewery. At that time, there were only 42 breweries in operation in the U.S., making Boulder Beer Company the 43rd. There are now over 2,500 breweries in the country. The original brewery was built on a small goat farm north of town. In 1984, we built a new brewery in Boulder where we still operate today. Our entrepreneurial spirit helped foster a craft beer revolution in Colorado and throughout the country. The beer you're holding was brewed to celebrate and commemorate our milestone 35th anniversary of brewing handcrafted ales. An imperial black IPA, Boulder 35, embodies the history of innovation that founded our brewery and continues today with our exciting new releases. Thanks and enjoy your friends at Boulder Beer. Very nice. One of the older breweries, craft beer breweries, uh, that's been around since 1979. I didn't realize they'd been in business quite that long. So they were way ahead of the craft beer revolution that's going on now. Uh, and this looks like a pricey bottle. Nate, thanks again. I don't know what this bottle costs, but anytime you see one of these bombers that's got been hand dipped with the wax on top of it, you can mean it's a fairly pricey beer. Uh, commercial description on this beer. Dark black in color with a big all-around hot presence, Boulder, Boulder 35 remains a well-balanced big IPA with a smooth roasted malt flavor and a 9.5% alcohol by volume. It's a perfect beer to share among friends while raising your glass to Colorado's vibrant craft beer scene. All started 35 years ago. Very, very nice. I don't have an IBU uh, listing on this beer. Uh, food pairings for this beer is... Is basically none because it's not technically, the black IPA has not been recognized as a technically a, a beer style. It's getting more and more popular. I look for that to change real soon in the next year or so. Uh, uh, there are so many craft breweries brewing the black IPAs. And, and basically what that is is an IPA that's been brewed with a lot darker malt to get that black uh, looking uh, beer in the glass. Uh, glass wire, the pint, becker, and non tumbler mug, Steiner, side L, herbicide, wine glass. I got the Thubel glass for this today. And not recommended for extended cellaring because it is an IPA, even though it's a black IPA. 9.5% alcohol, it's not going to go bad, but the hops will fade over time. So let me see if I can take the knife and cut around the wax here and, and see if we can get this cap off without a lot of hassle. I'm not a big fan of this wax. People says, well, it keeps the air from getting in, which I think is horse hockey. The air's not trying to get in. The beer's trying to get out. It's under pressure. So unless the cap is, uh, unless the cap is not put on tight, uh, the air is not going to get in. And if it was a major issue, you would see all the beer have wax on them to keep the air out. So it's under pressure. It's not going to... Uh, It's not going to let air in unless you got a defective cap. So, and this wax is going everywhere. I sure hope this don't get into the beer. That would chap my fat little ass. Alright, I think we got... Let me put a little notch inside here where I can get my opener in there. 
That's the only thing with the foil that's been on. It's been put on like Avery puts theirs on. And not like uh, Terrapin and some of the others. Put theirs on where it just pops right off all in one piece. Nice hiss. A nice smoke coming out. Now let's see if we can pour this without any of the green wax getting into the glass. Says enjoyed by October 3rd, 2014. And Nate sent a note on this. He said he thinks this was an early May release. And we're at the end of June almost there. By the time you see this, it may be the 1st of July. Let's get it in the glass. I know this is going to be better than yesterday's Swamp Ape. That's the worst beer I've had this year. I'm not saying it was a bad beer, but for what they were claiming, it had five hops and it's an Imperial Double IPA. The hops are basically non-existent. I mean, I've had pale ales with more hops in it than that. I make a better beer than that, so. I probably won't be purchase, purchasing any more Florida Beer Company beers, let's put it that way. Over to the light, yeah, yeah, I mean, I got a deep red ruby color. I can see the bowl, the, the disc faintly. It's not cloudy, but it is a dark ruby color. And on that aggressive pour, we got a good two fingers of head. It wasn't too aggressive, was it? Looks good in the glass. Nice, uh, it's not a dark, like a stout head, but it is a, uh, uh, off-white or bisque color, if you will, on the head. And it looks pretty creamy. There are a few uh, big bubbles in there, but mostly it's a creamy head. Let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah, very nice floral citrusy hops to me. It's not a big in your face piney grapefruit like an Enjoy Bar or a piney or heady topper or something like that. But it does have a nice hot presence. Big rich malty backbone on this. Dark roasted malt. But it does have a nice hot presence. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that it does. Wow, smells pretty good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers everybody. Cheers, Nate. Thank you, sir. Nice. Not awesome, but it's nice. It's very nice. I would like to have seen them have a more of a big piney grapefruity pineapple hot presence than the, the citrusy, but it's nice. Don't get me wrong; it, it's a very nice beer. Awesome lacing on the glass. Not getting any of the alcohol, which was nine and a half percent this is a one-time offering 35th anniversary to commemorate their 35 years of uh, craft beer brewing so they've been doing this a long time so they've got it figured out pretty well i just like a, a more juicier grapefruitier hop in my ipas now kind of, kind of got spoiled with uh, all the heady toppers and uh, and uh, enjoy by I think had a lot of heady toppers. I've only had two of them, but we just did that uh, about a week ago, and it was very pleasant. And the enjoy by uh, that I had the other day, the seven forward July fourth, twenty fourteen version, was just as awesome to me as all the rest of them have been. But this is about this beer, and it seems to be pretty tasty. So let's let it warm up a hair, and let the other half get a. Nice half a glass or so, maybe three quarters of a glass. Must have left in the bomber here, and we'll come back and do the final chug on this one. But looks pretty impressive. I don't think it's quite to the ten, but we're gonna let it warm up, and I'll come back and we'll find out together. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Awesome lacing this beer is left on the glass. 
it is a very tasty beer, but it's not an outstanding beer. I'm kind of just a tad disappointed uh, for, for the guys that's been in business since uh, 1979 uh, that they couldn't make a black IPA that would just blow your socks off and your hair back. So Nice roasted malt. Now that it's warmed up, I am getting just a hint of the alcohol that's in here. But it's got a nice roasted malt flavor and a nice hop presence to it. The hops are not over uh, over the top. It's not that in your face grapefruity pine, pineapple type hops. Maybe that's not what they wanted to do on this beer, evidently. And the uh, there's there's not a lot of dark fruit or or, or chocolate or coffee. I mean, it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a nice roasted malt, but. It's not over the top either in the malt or in the hop category, so final chug. Very easy drinking for a nine and a half percenter. But uh, and it's definitely worth picking up. Uh, but it's not an outstanding beer to me. I mean, it's uh, I've had better black IPAs. I've had more hoppier black IPAs. So, guys, it, I think it's an eight beer, but it's just barely in that category. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it to eight, which is a minus uh, for a beer that has wax on the top of it, and it's the 35th anniversary, and for guys that's been in business uh, since '79, 35 years, uh, I would think this would have been. They're top of the line flagship type beer for fifth thirty fifth anniversary. So just a tad disappointed. Nate, I do appreciate you sending it to me. I'm glad I got to try it, but it's not a ten beer to me. It's it, it, it's uh, not even a nine beer to me. Uh, I'm gonna give it the eight. So with that being said, let's go see what everybody else thinks. We'll go over to Beer Advocate, and Beer Advocate says eighty three. Wow. And I'm kind of, kind of saddened by that, but I understand where they're where they're going with this. There are better black IPAs out than this, and for the trouble they went to put the wax on it and and put their 35th anniversary logo on it and everything, I, I was kind of considering this was going to be a really really good beer, and, and it's a good beer, but it's just not outstanding. So, over to Rate Beer. Rate beer says 90 overall, and that's exactly where I would put it. If I was putting a numeric rating on it, I would give it a 90. And 54 in the style. So there are some people that's, that's had this, uh, and, and they're saying uh, it, it's not that it doesn't fit the style, it's just not outstanding in the style. So with that being said, uh, I did enjoy it, uh, but I just don't think it's a 10 beer for... Uh, the experience that these guys have got and the trouble they have gone uh, to brew this and put wax on top of the bottle and all that. So, if you've had this one from Boulder Beer, this is their 35th anniversary Imperial Black IPA. Let me know what you think. Uh, I enjoyed it, but it's just not a 10 beer to me, guys. So, let me know what you think. And guys, let's see what's in their fridge more. It was definitely better than the one we had yesterday. The Swamp Ape. No comparison there. I'd much rather have this any day than that. Alright guys, let's take that walk tomorrow. See you then.